Hello Cancer, this is Steph at Finding You Tarot and this is your weekly reading for the 6th to the 12th of November 2023. This is a general reading so can't resonate for everyone so only take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest for someone else. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't. Um, I read for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus uh, so if uh, if you're interested, check out your other placements. And I do have personal readings open. So if you want one, all the details are in the description box below. So without further ado, Cancer, let's get into it and see what the energies are today. Okay. One more. Okay, yeah, one more. Okay, so we're starting off in a period of evaluation. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? You know, this could be a job, it could be a relationship. I'm not sure yet. I mean, pentacles obviously are to do with the material realm, but it's, you know, there is a there is a feeling here of, of thinking, how much longer do I have to wait? Is it worth the wait? Or should I just cut my losses and, you know, take that one pentacle? That I've already harvested. So let's get the other cards on the table. So we have the five of swords. So there's quite a lot of conflict around this. Um, the page of swords. It could be some sort of shadiness around it as well. Oh, the five of pentacles, more conflict. And lack. Feeling excluded. <laughs> but, you know, the, in your position that you're going into is the sun. And Spirit's advice is the four of wands, which is... I mean, it's a card of sort of joy and joyful commitment. I'm just, I'm, I haven't been clarifying anything, but I just want to clarify that seven of pentacles to get a clearer picture of this because it's not saying. Oh, do you know what? I'm not going to, I'm not going to clarify it because it is saying it is. Yeah. It is saying, but also um, the the eight of um, the eight of wands wanted to make itself known as well. So, uh, so, so whatever's going on here, I think you're you might have been a bit stuck with it, but it's it's now moving. It's moving. So that's really um, you know that's a message for somebody, and somebody needs to hear that because they might be feeling really really stuck. Um, yeah. If you've if if in in this situation, um, and this could be a, re a relationship, it, it could be a job as well. Um, but if you have been feeling that you, I've got this kind of really passive aggressive energy here. Um, it feels like you know everybody's sort of is it, there's a kind of win at all costs energy as well. Um, it feels very competitive, but not in a kind of positive way. It feels competitive in an undermining way. So, and 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 also that there's a lot of sort of quietness and sneakiness and deceit and you know, kind of maybe talking behind somebody's back. Um, if you've been feeling this cancer in in the situation that you're in. Uh, I, I think this is this is kind of because these things aren't usually they, they're not usually in our faces. You know, we usually have an instinct about them, um, and and spirit is kind of saying to you if if you've been feeling these things, if you've had an instinct that these things are happening, that there's this undermining energy that you're being um, talked about behind your back then you're right, you are. <laughs> um, and and honestly, you know, it feels as though you really want to move on from this now. 
and and I don't blame you. You know, these are very these are very toxic environments to be in where we don't know who we can who we can trust and we don't, you know it oh yeah, it, it's weird. I'm I'm finding it hard to, to speak and I and I th- I wonder if that's because it's like, you know, it's hard for you to articulate how you're feeling. Um but it does feel really uh yeah, it's a, I'm I'm being really drawn to this these tiny tiny birds up here, um you know that it's it's kind of it all feels very like you're very far off from everything in this situation that you're not connected to anything you've got no grounding, um but you know what what spirit is saying here is. Let's cover that baby up because he's he's got my clothes on. So um, what Spirit is saying is what you're going from is kind of that sort of feeling of rock bottom here with this five of pentacles to the sun, which is a period of, of really fast growth and movement and um, and abundance and just just a lighter feeling. You know, there's the darkness of the five of of pentacles and there's the light of the sun um so i think if you want if, if there is a situation you want to move on from which is which feels very you know and relationships can feel competitive as well even romantic relationships can feel like competitive um but if there, if there is a situation that is making making you feel undermined predominantly undermined but also like there's some sort of there's there's some sort of game going on, but you don't know what the rules are. <laughs> um, then you know. Then spirit is supportive of you moving on from this and and into a period of of not only kind of freedom and abundance and growth, but you know, but also freedom to express yourself. I feel like you've been suppressed here. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's okay. It's okay to have a joyful life. It's all it's all right to have stability. You know, it's, and this is like, you know, the eleven eleven card. Um, it could be this. This could be a really brand new start for you in terms of your abundance. But it feels it feels like you know where you're at at the moment, where you're leaving at the moment, or where you're thinking of leaving at the moment. It's just there's just nothing there. There's nothing there apart from kind of conflict energy and it's it's it just feels really, really miserable. So cancer, this is a very strange reading, but I you know it I hope it resonates for some well, I hope it doesn't actually, it's not very nice, but um but you know, I hope that if you're still with me that you got what you needed out of it. Um and if if you did enjoy this reading or, you know, get something out of it, then please do like, share and subscribe. It would really help with the growth of the channel. Um, and as ever, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.